Hi. So I briefly wanted to discuss something that's not earth shattering, but it's important to sort of understand and, and discuss briefly. And that's all about storing your audio and video gear when you're not using it. I mean, obviously when you're using it, it's out and you're using it. But if you're not going to use a piece of gear for another maybe six months or a year, you can put it away, right? Put it in the closet or something. Now, the main danger with storing your gear is, I mean, obviously if you put it in a closet in your house, that's perfect, right? You pretty much don't have to worry about it. But I wanted to just warn you, and because this sometimes happens, uh, you want to store your gear in a place with low or average humidity. So you don't want to leave it somewhere where it's really humid and kind of wet and stuff like that. And the other thing is you want to avoid storing your gear where there's going to be extreme heat or extreme cold because extre extreme heat and extreme cold can actually damage the gear. So, you know, obviously you want, you don't want to store your gear in places like an attic because it might get very hot or very cold or a garage. Again, not great because it might get hot, gets hot and cold, uh, a shed in the yard, same thing. And also in vehicles, sometimes you might just leave a piece of gear in a vehicle for a while, but keep in mind that the temperature, right? So I always, uh, in addition to that, I, I wanted to tell you that I always keep the original boxes for my audio gear. And that way, if I ever need to store it, I can put it in the original box and just store it in the original box. That kind of helps. Um, I also wanted to quickly show you a picture of my one closet where I store some stuff. So there you have it. That's In fact, that's like the majority of my equipment right there. You could see on the screen. So, all right, well, that's it. Again, I know this is fundamental, but we have to get the fundamentals right in order to be successful, right? So uh, as always, listen to my podcast engineering show, sign up for my daily good emails and check out the website for the main course, the podcast engineering school course, which teaches people how to produce podcasts from home professionally and make a great living doing it. So that's what we do. We love it. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.